Welcome back to the channel. So in this week's video, we will learn how to deploy our Next.js application to production so we can share a link to it and anyone can use it. We will deploy our application to Vercel, which offers free hosting for Next.js applications. We will also set up the deploy in a way that triggers automatic deploy to production whenever there is new commits added to the named grants. So basically, whenever you make a change to your code and push it to GitHub, your website will be automatically updated. Real quick before we get started, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tuomo, I'm a Finnish web developer and on this channel I upload weekly videos about modern web development. So if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel to become a part of this modern web development community. So the application we will deploy today is this Star Wars Yoda translator application I created a while back. And I actually made a video teaching how to code this, so if you're interested in that, you can find a link to it from the YouTube card up there somewhere or from the video description. But let's get started by cloning this repo, seeing that the application works and then deploying it to Verso. So I'm gonna clone this, I'll get the URL for the repo up here, then I open up my Git client, I'm using Tower as a Git client, and here I will clone git repository and just paste the URL into it and clone. Like this, let's open it up. So I'm in the main branch right now, that's cool. And let's open up this in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so we have the application open in VS Code and I'm gonna uh, install the dependencies and then run the application. So let's start by yarn install and after that let's start the dev server. Okay, so we have the application open in the browser and how it works is that you type in a text in this uh, text input in English and then you will get a Yoda translation as a response. So let's try for example, my name is Tuomo and let's hit the translate. It gets the translation result, Tuomo, my name is in Yoda. Okay, so the application is working, but how can we actually deploy this to Vercel? Well, let's take a look. So let's open up the Vercel.com. So if you don't already have an account in Vercel, you can sign up up here and you can even use your GitHub, GitLab or Bitbucket accounts to create your Vercel account. And if you already have an account, you can log in through here. So I'm gonna log in to my Vercel account now. Okay, so now I'm logged in to my Vercel account and you can right away see all your projects that are hosted on Vercel up here. And you can see I have a few already, including my own website. But let's actually do one thing before we get any further. So yeah, much better. Okay, so how to add a new project and deploy it to Verso? Well, we just hit the new project button and right here, if you used your GitHub account to uh, sign in, it will automatically show you your GitHub repos down here. And if it doesn't, you can also connect your GitHub account to Verso uh, down here. But since my GitHub is connected to Verso, we can see the repos here and the application we want to deploy was the Tumetus slash Yoda translator Next.js app. And we can see it right here. So all we have to do is click import. Then first you can create a team if you want. I'm gonna skip it for now. Then we have the project configuration. Uh, first the project name, I'm gonna leave it like this. Then the framework presets that we will use. And since we are using Next.js, we will choose the next JS and the root directory is that. Great, we don't have to modify anything else right now. So let's click deploy. And right now it's showing the deployment process. So first it fetched the source code from GitHub and then skipping the build cache and then building the actual application. We can see the logs over here, but let's minimize them now and let's wait for it to build. Okay, it built and uploaded the files and now 
it is deployed. So right here we can go to the dashboard back and we can see our application is ready. Now we can see it by visiting the URLs of this application and we can just click the visit button over here. It will open up a new tab and go to the URL and now let's test it out. It's working. And right now this URL is public so anyone can use this application. So that's how easy it is to deploy your Next.js application to Vercel. But now what if we wanted to make changes to this application and have them updated into the Vercel application. So let's take a look at that right now. So I'm going to switch back to the Visual Studio code and I'm going to make a new branch actually saying that update front page and let's make our changes to this branch. I switch back to the Visual Studio code now and let's open up the uh, components and the Yoda app. And right here I'm gonna make it easy and just replace the header. And let's add also a text paragraph under it. Like this. So I'll save this. Let's flip back to the browser. And right here we can see we are in localhost that the header was changed and the text was added under it. So this is what the application with the changes looks like. And here is the public version of the application which is deployed in Vercel. So how can we now get these changes deployed to Vercel? Well, it's as easy as committing those changes and pushing them into the GitHub main branch. So let's commit those changes. So I'm going to open up my tower and right here, if I click the working copy, I can see which files were changed. And right here we can see that the header was changed and then we added the uh, text input. So I'm going to stage those files and add a commit message, modify front page. And then uh, let's add a short description. like this and I will hit commit and if I check the commit log I can see that the commits were added to this branch. So now I still need to add these to the main branch so I'm gonna merge these branch to the main branch and actually with tower we can do it by drag and dropping which I really like so I'm gonna change to the main branch and then drag and drop that uh, update front page branch to my main branch and hit merge. So now let me open up Vercel. So here is our dashboard for the application and now when I push this code to GitHub, so I'll hit publish and push it to the main branch. We should see some activity, now it's in GitHub so let's open up the Vercel dashboard and let's see what happens. Let's see down here. We can actually see that it's building the merge branch update front page, front page branch. So I'm going to click here and we see the status it's building. And here are some logs for it. So let's wait this out. Okay, it's ready. Now it should be online, so if I hit the visit button, we can see that we have the title updated and the text under here. And let's test it out. Hit translate, and looks like it's working. So this is what the application looked before we made the changes, and now it's publicly available with the changes also. And you might have noticed that the URLs are different. Well, that's because Vercel provides us with a couple of URLs for our application. But if we take the first URL and actually refresh this page, it should show our modifications here also. Yeah, so I refreshed the page and it shows the modification. So it's work. So it's that easy to deploy your application 
to Vercel and Vercel automatically sets you up so that whenever you add code to your main branch in GitHub, it will automatically trigger a deploy. Before you go, I want to say thank you to Tower for sponsoring this week's video. Tower is a powerful Git client for Mac and Windows, and it's used by over 100,000 developers and designers. You might have noticed that I actually used Tower earlier in this video to manage my repo and pulling and pushing it to GitHub. I have used Tower myself for several years, and I find it easier and much more productive to use compared to using Git from command line. With Tower, using Git is super easy and there is no need to remember complex commands and their parameters. Tower makes many advanced actions as easy as drag and drop. Some Git actions are extremely powerful but difficult to use, so Tower's drag and drop feature gives you easy access to these advanced features. Tower also makes reverting and undoing changes super easy. Whether you want to recover a deleted branch, revert a commit or simply undo local changes, all you need to do is hit your undo keyboard shortcut and Tower will take care of the rest. One of my favorite features of Tower is definitely the clear visual interface and the ability to see the commit log clearly. This helps tremendously understanding and browsing the changes between commits. You can download Tower from git-tower.com. They have basic, pro and enterprise plans and they offer a 30-day free trial for their pro tier. Go to git-tower.com or click the link in the description and start your 30-day trial today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like below and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.